Hi, welcome to my channel. In my previous video in this playlist, I have shown you how to set up MX record for a domain. Today, I'll show you how to configure MX record for a subdomain. Normally, when we create an MX record at DNS, we do that for the whole domain by specifying the at the rate sign. A domain's MX record is necessary for a domain mail server, which is configured to receive domain's user's mail with user at the rate domain form. But if we have a separate business unit and we want to maintain a separate mail server for that unit, we can do that easily with creating subdomains MX record and configuring mail server to receive subdomains mail only. A mail server for the main domain and a mail server for subdomain is almost same. Subdomains mail server only needs some special instruction to send and receive email with user at the rate subdomain form. In this video, I will not go for configuring subdomains mail server, rather I will use a configured one. On the video description, I will provide a link of the video named configure a subdomains mail server so that you can learn how to configure a mail server for a subdomain. So let's start the DNS configuration and testing. So we are now at our Godet DNS server. I have removed my previous domains MX. So let's create one. Let's create the domains MX now. Now let's create a subdomain for the marketing department named MKT. And MKT server IP is 59. Now let's create the MX record for this subdomain. Now we are practically done on the DNS configuration. Now let's check on the MX toolbox. This is our previous check. Let's check it again. Here you can see that main domains mail server is mailer.mailserverguru.com, which is 58. We have configured it MX at the rate mailer.mailserverguru.com and its IP is 58. So now let's check for the subdomain MKT. If you check the A record first, we can see that the A record is 59. So here MKT A record is 59. Now if we check the MX record, so the subdomain mkt.mailserverguru.com's mail server will be mkd.mailserverguru.com which IP address is 59. So let's go to the mail server now. We have two server here. mailer.mailserverguru.com this one is the main domains mail server and mkd.mailserverguru.com this server is for the subdomain mkd.mailserverguru.com so let's tell the log file now let's send mail from the gmail now from gmail i am sending two email first one is for the munna at mailserverguru.com and the second mail is for munna at mkt.mailserverguru.com so we are expecting these two mail will be received by two different mail server. So let's send the test one and let's send the test two. Here from munnavai at gmail.com, this server mailer.mailserverguru.com is received the mail for 
munna at mailserverguru.com and the mkt server received mail for munna at mkt.mailserverguru.com so we are successfully received primary domains mail and for subdomains mail with two different mail server so hope you understand the scenario so thank you for being with me and i'll see you on the next video bye